Hey YouTube, it is your girl Stephanie coming to you today with a combo haul. <laughs> I am going to show you some things that I purchased over the weeks at Target and Walmart. Um, I normally don't combine those two videos, but it was just a little here, a little there type deal. So I wanted you guys to see what I purchased in store. Some of the things I ordered, um, and then the couple of items I picked up from Target, I'm gonna mix it in. So this is going to be just a show type haul. I'm not gonna thoroughly style everything. I'm just gonna let you know. Um, yeah, but anyway, before we get into it, I wanted to announce the 1K giveaway winner. Her name is Irene Dennis. Congratulations, Irene. We've already been in contact. I'm gonna send her some information shortly so she can give it to, you know, of course me so I can send off my portion of the giveaway and to the sponsors. So once again, thank you Irene for participating in this giveaway and thank you to my sponsors. We have Karma Treats um, who has dope body and skincare. We have Blended Candles who make hand pours candles, y'all. Check them out. I'll put all the links in the bio. And then we have Style by Spunky, who has the cutest like t-shirts, sweatshirts, journals, compacts, like all the little cutesy things that, you know, are great for just like adding to your collection or especially this time of year gift giving. Um, you'll be able to find something on her site. So thank you to my sponsors for working with me in this giveaway and you guys I wanted to say I am sorry for the delay kind of sort of I'm sorry um, a lot of people didn't follow the directions I specifically had asked people to comment below on that particular video I gave them two videos to comment on they did that but they had to follow everybody's Instagram mine blended candles style by Spunky and karma treat and we were having trouble getting people to be all on board. So eventually we found someone who did all three, um, a couple of people, and then we just narrowed it down to, I narrowed it down to Irene Dennis. She is um, an avid follower. I've seen her comments in my videos or whatnot. So thank you for participating, everyone. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And whenever I get to the next milestone, which I'm thinking is gonna be 5K, um, we would do another video. Hopefully it'll be bigger and better by then. Um, so let's get to the video. So like I said, I have some items. So what I'm gonna do is literally, um, if it's a duplicate, I'm not necessarily going to try on both for you. So I did get like, say it's a turtleneck is one of them. I got a blue one and a cream one. I'm just gonna show you the one I'm gonna show you with that particular outfit. So you kind of get a gauge on fit or whatnot. So we're gonna do it like that, try on the pieces and yeah, that's how it's going to roll. Um, I will link the company for this sweatshirt because I know some people are going to ask. It's a Gucci inspire, but it says coffee instead of Gucci. <laughs> and it has my initials monogrammed in the center. So super cute. And I'm just literally wearing some distressed jeans that are now too big for me when I tried them on. I think I got them from Kirby Sense. They were snug and now they're too big for me because I dropped a little bit here and there. And I'm always in between sizes no matter what in my wardrobe. I have some things that I ain't gonna fit for a minute, girl. And some Target Gucci inspired slides, loafers, they call them slippers, whatever. They're like the fur Prince Town loafer, but Target formation. So anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, so the first item I wanted to show you was this really cute, time and true drop waist dress. It is in a very cute houndstooth. Print, um, it has faux buttons at the top of the bust line and it goes up into more of a Mandarin collar, I guess you would call it. Um, it has a good fit in the sleeves. Um, it's a little, it's not snug, but I would say it's just fitting my arms. This is a size 2X, like I said, drop waist. Very cute. It, also, it actually reminds me of, remember, was it Lucy and Peanuts? <laughs> the 
girl used to kick the ball all the time. The drop waist look is that's what it's giving me. But it's such a cute, easy breezy dress. Um, I want to say tag is where I can't get to it. It was like twenty dollars, twenty five dollars. Just it's really cute. Um, I think this would be adorable. Of course, paired with some flats for work. You can do a pop of color, maybe adding a fuchsia tone or just this would be outside the box for this season. You could definitely do a pop of red. That's a classic pop against hound tooth, black and white hound tooth specifically. Um, you could definitely put some tights on and a pair of knee high boots, something that's slim, not too bulky because you don't want to take away from the ruffle hem of the dress. Um, and you can also do some tights with a cute little booty. I am like on the search for a really cute hat and leather booty. I've been watching Ashley from Ashley Park. Um, she has some dope, I'm sorry, her channel is Park Avenue. I'm sorry, her name is Ashley Park. Um, she has some dope boots in her collection. But I'm at a point where I can't wear too much of a heel heel, like a... I can't go above three inches, but I really would like something between maybe in that two and a half, two to two and a half inches. So I, I can't do a lot, you know, a large heel, but if you can do it, but I really like this dress and I think it's a really cute addition to your collection. I'm throwing a little leather jacket over it. It'll be really cute. So that's the dress. I'm just going to give you a twirl. You saw the print. And that's it. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So the next, I have two items I'm showing you on this one. First is this churro neck, and I'm just gonna pull it down so you can see how it falls on the body. This is time and true. This is the straight sizes. This is the XXL size 20. And remember, 20 on a straight size is a little different than a 20 and plus. Um, I just got it because it's a cream tank top. I mean, a cream churro neck. I don't know if I said tank top before. It's a cream turtle neck. I feel like it's a staple. I am loving just the light coat, the light creams and the grays. I'm loving neutrals for fall. Um, I don't mind color, see it on my lips, but neutrals just help. They're the glue of your wardrobe, in my opinion, um, with the things that I kind of gravitate towards. They're glue to your wardrobe. So I got this one. I wanted it to be snug. Now, granted, I am on the search for a perfect cable knit um, sweater in this cream tone, maybe leaning a little bit into that off-white cream to off-white tone, but I love this. The quality is good. It's extremely soft and it's thin, which is perfect for layering. And when I say thin, you guys, I don't mean poor quality thin. I mean thin enough to where it skims the body and you don't feel all bulky when you're adding layers to your outfit. Okay, so I did get this in cream, but I wanted to show you. Um, I also got it in navy. I feel like navy, look at that, it just brightened up the screen, huh? Um, <laughs> navy really pairs well um, for a monochromatic look with your favorite denim jeans. It just slims the body because it's like one tone of color from head to toe. Throw it on with some cute little booties. I'm just saying, y'all, navy is, like I said, I'm just in love with staples right now. So that is the navy. I just want to show you guys, and I think they had a couple more colors. So I will link it below. But don't be afraid to, um, you know, step into your local Walmart and shop a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like just browse. People give, people don't think of Walmart as a place for fashion, but like Walmart be killing the game sometimes when y'all sleeping on it. Um, I wanted to uh, also mention that it's only eleven dollars and eighty six cents. Um, the second item, that's kind of why I had it lifted up, are these drawstring pants. I'm just going to show you the pants as they are. They are a pull-on drawstring pants. They're not a jogger, so they don't feel like jogging pants. They have pockets, as you can see. Um, and it's just a pull-on pant, very casual. Very casual. Um, straight leg, not really tapered. But it hits right at my ankle, which I kind of, my ankle, which I kind of like. I am 5'7", so sometimes things look capri-like and I don't do capris. I just don't. So, um, you can pair this with a little heel if you want to. And it's perfect. Like a little kitten heel is perfect. 
Um, it also floats just enough where you can put a cute little booty underneath it, something nice and slim and petite. Put a booty on with it, a pat on another booty would be perfect. Again, like Ashley has driven that in my head and now I need a pair of freaking patent leather booties. But um, I would style it, like I said, if you want the anything with a drawstring, you kind of want to show off the drawstring. So I would just leisurely tie it up um, and I would do a half tuck or literally just blouse it up front and give it like a cascade on the bottom. I, I don't go always all the way up because I am very round in the middle. And you see if you do this, it creates a long straight line. But if you do this, it cuts it a little bit and kind of gives you a little bit more shape. Um, and I also have another sweater that I think would look really cute with that. And that's the Target um, turtleneck sweater. But this is actually a looser sweater. So you can have the same effect with that. And it's going to give you a more blouse look. Um, I might put this on later on in the video. But this is a Target piece. Um, this is Ava and Viv size 2X. And it was $27.99. The color is pretty. I just got my nails done today. And look. Look at that pumpkin color. The, I know it looks red on camera. So do my lips. But orange. 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 <laughs> so really soft sweater. But I'll throw this on with some jeans towards the end of the video. So you can see the fit on this. So just going to show you a little walk around. Like I said, very comfortable. Both pieces are very soft. And I was just so surprised on how these pants fit. So, there you go. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, as you can see, I still have this cream turtle nick on. So, I did change my bottom. This is a time and true sweater skirt. By the time you guys are seeing this, the inventory was kind of low when I got it, but I'm gonna, you know, give you the link anyway for the simple fact that I don't know if Walmart is going to restock. Um, it is so cute to me. Um, and there's a story behind this. So, um, I bought this sweater skirt because I thought it was, am I turned all the way around? Do, do, do. No shapewear, I would wear shapewear with this as a disclosure. Don't want like a can of biscuits. So, I bought this skirt because there are some sweaters over here. I swore to God I was going to go with this skirt. I was wrong. I digress. <laughs> but, I got the skirt in an extra large. I figured it was a sweater skirt. It was a knit. It can go over my curves. I'd be okay. It works fine now. If you're in an office setting and it's very strict, not a creative office or corporate office, you might not be able to get away with sizing down on the skirt. For the simple fact that it does cup the bottom of your booty a little bit because I did go down a size. Like I said, this is the extra large 16 18, time and true. This is straight size, just to let you know. So anyway, back to the styling of the skirt. Um, I did throw on some heels so you can kind of see it because I think it looks good with heels. I think it looks better with heels or a heeled booty, un a boot underneath it. Um, the cream goes well because of the fact that it does have a cream band. But as you can see, it's a heather gray. It's a cream color and it's tan on the bottom. Now, you could pull this skirt up a little bit and make it a little bit more of a knee length if you want to. It'll come up just a little bit. But like I said, I'm 5'7". So just understand that I have a little bit to play with, but I do have a shorter torso, if you can kind of tell on camera. And I know the camera is deceiving, but I really think this is still tall girl friendly because if you really want it to be a midi, which means it comes between, um, at a place between your knee and your ankle, this is a good start for you. And you see it's pulled up high, well, sort of high on me, dealing with the fact that I have a short torso. But anyway, cute skirt, very good quality knit. It feels luxe, it does not feel cheap. And you guys know, I'm always on an honest train. I'll tell you something felt cheap. Cause everything is not meant for investment. Sometimes we buy things or cute shirts or whatever, cause it's cute, we don't necessarily wanna buy it cause we wanna hold on to it for 20 years. That's just not how it works. But it, it does feel good, it hugs the curves. 
and it does taper down enough. So you see, I'm not losing my shape or the shape that I have with it. Um, it does go at an angle towards the bottom. That way I still have some curves going on. Um, I don't like pencil skirts or midi skirts unless they're intended to be full, but I don't like it to like hit my hips and go straight down because that just gives me old school church lady vibes. So that being said, um, what I was talking about with the professionalism of it, it does cup a little under my booty, but that looks a little different when I have shapewear on. So that's that. And remember, like I said, I like shapewear. I wear shapewear, I'm not telling you you have to, but I just, I would like to have this smooth out a little bit more all of them through here. So I really like the skirt. Let me know what you think. Oh, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you the two tops and I'll throw one of them on for you in just a second. But these are the two tops that I thought were gonna match the skirt. And as you can see, I'm ridiculously wrong. So sometimes when you look at the colors and the monitors, it might be off a little bit. But these are time and true as well. They are both, and I know some people rarely see the size, but these are triple extra large XXXL um, size 22. And like I said, these are just a, this is the straight size portion of Walmart. Um, I don't know how much these were because they're not on the tag. These are our online purchase, but I love the fact they have the oversized balloon sleeves, the cuff. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love a statement sleeve. And you will see that over the next couple videos because I am just statement emptying up. That's a new word. Check for it. But it's just a really cute sweater and it's like a little bit voluminous here. I have a large chest that works fine with me and it does band down at the bottom um, about five inches. So that is a band, but not anything too snug where it would do anything funky to your body. So I'll throw one of these on just for you to see and yeah, be right back. Okay, you guys, so here is the gray one I decided to put on. Um, here's the band I was speaking of. As you can see, it's ribbed a little bit differently than the rest of the sweater. The other portion of the sweater is flat. These, this part is ribbed, but I like the way it just, you know, sits on my curves. Um, it has length to it, so I don't want you to feel like it's too short, but this is not something that is made to cover your butt. And I don't think it will look good that way. Anyway, in that case, order you a dress. And I have one coming up with another. Oh, I haven't tried it on yet. So I am low-key celebrating early. But yeah. Anyway, so this is the sleeves. Love, love, love. I love a good billowy sleeve that fits on the wrist. It's just cute and effortless. Um, as you can see, it looks dope with jeans. And... I like both of these colors. I Like I said, I'm a neutral girl. So for some people, this might be boring. But my thing is, I love the neutrals because you can get your red bag and pop it with this outfit. You know what I'm saying? Or you can add your black boots or jazz it up. But I like a good neutral. It really lends, it lends on the more sophisticated side of things. Um, not saying that pink would not or any other color because I'd be like my pink and I'd be like these other colors but you know this is just very grounded and sophisticated and you know if you're going to shop on a budget make sure your pieces look luxe because certain things might look totally different in the wrong color versus material so all you guys who get that hit the like button or comment below okay Okay, especially on us plus size girls, we have to be strategic and we have to be careful when we place on our bodies because we're all not built like the models on these websites. We have different builds and different sizes and silhouettes and I'm ranting and I'm talking and blah, 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 blah. But get you these, okay, in um, the gray and the oatmeal color. I don't remember if they had any more colors, but I think black, I think black was a given. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of them, but I would definitely link them in the bio below. So, um, I think I'm going to show you guys this sweater since I have these jeans on. And then, yeah, let's do that, okay? Orange sweater, coming up next. Okay, here is my snuggly, wuggly Target sweater. Um, I think I told you it was, what, $24.99, $27.99, something like that. It's very soft. Um, this one 
um, does fit in the sleeves. It's funnel neck versus turtleneck, meaning it goes up at a slight angle and it just kind of puddles. Um, I do like that because sometimes you don't want anything around your neck and this is perfect. It has breathability and all that jazz. So uh, with this sweater, it does have a little bit more length. Um, it can appear, sorry, excuse me. It can appear boxy. Um, and when I say that is depending on your shape, you might be fuller in the middle. So that's why you always see me do a half tuck or do something like this or even just balloon it to where it's just more casual because that shape complements a round um, middle. And I'm not completely apple shaped. I am more between a rectangle, which is up and down a little apple. So when I go up, I'm more apple. When I go down, I start going into that rectangle. When I get really small, you start seeing a little bit of that hourglass come in. I'm just all over the place right now. So I am literally a bowl of fruit, except pear. I have a little hits, but eh, not much. But I do love this sweater, and I think it would really look good with that gray pair of pants from the jump. You could tuck in, let it come out in the back like that. It's just soft, and it's just, even though it's a peachy pumpkin color, it's still a neutral. <laughs> like, I can't stress that. Like, you can wear this with denim. You can wear this with gray pants. You can wear this with oatmeal. You can wear this with a cream pair of pants. You can wear this with anything. So just, you know, keep that in mind, especially if you're trying to curate a capsule wardrobe or, or whatnot, or trying to really just like out with the old, I wanna start over, I wanna have this particular look. Invest, when I say invest, I mean, invest time into finding pieces that really work and are cohesive. Everything that is not good quality is expensive. I'm gonna say that again for my people in the back. Everything that is good quality is not expensive. Everything that is expensive is not good quality. Preach and see y'all today. Okay, so let's move on to the next outfit. I'm back. So, you're gonna be like, girl, you wearing a sweatsuit. Yes, I am, ma'am, sir, whomever is concerned, I am. So this is out the men's department. I left the stickers on because I wanted to show that these are those Fruit of the Loom ones from way back in the day. Now, Walmart better not do like Champion because you know how Champion is having this little moment? Man, Walmart used to sell Champion dirt cheap back in the day, like $10 at that. And now it's a whole mood, a whole thing. Don't do that with Fruit, fruit of the Loom. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So this is a Fruit of the Loom track, not track suit, jumpsuit. Um, each piece was like $5, $6, $7 at the most. Um, these are 3XLs out the men's apartment. I normally am a size 20. Um, I think I like, I'm doing this Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dogs and bananas. No, um, <laughs> I'm doing that because I have thighs. So I need the three X in the bottom. If I wanted a slimmer fit on top, I could have possibly went down to a two X and it would have been a little bit more snug, but I kind of like this. Um, one good thing about men's is it's automatically high waisted and your girl, high waisted is a thing. So it has a little adjustable, drawstring inside of it per usual um they have pockets so yes uh, i just love this little i mean it's less than 15 dollars for an outfit but we're not gonna stop here so i'm gonna take the strips off because i did this for the video and i'm gonna throw on my little loafers of course yo throw on some um tennis shoes or whatnot I would love to have a nice cream pair of tennis shoes but throw on some tennis shoes so um I'm gonna start by taking off my earrings Ooh. some earring backs barely stay on these earring backs are like we ain't going nowhere so I took off my little studs I feel like I needed to add some little 
Did my tiny and true. Simple hoops. Make sure I don't stab myself. We're gonna put those on. Give it a little bit more of a streetwear vibe. I'm just clicking the little plastic things with you on the back of the area. So, we're on some hoops. Got my little Jane from the block hoops going and stuff. Got my little loafers on, making it like a little bit more street. Yeah, I'm doing the most. So, um, I went to Burlington around this time and snatched up this little blue hat. I thought it was cute. I wish it had the tan fur ball on top, and I'll probably find one, but this is straight. Especially if I'm just doing denim on denim. Like blue on denim. But I thought it looked really cute with the whole beanie. I kind of like that effortless, just cute, flopping everywhere type look. Earrings, chilling. And I love the look of throwing on a tan wool coat. This is not a wool coat. This actually is from Just Fab. Had this for a couple of years, but you know when people just walk around just like chilling like it's a whole look um oh, oh. you know my arms y'all <clears throat> i gotta get settled into this coat but yeah i like the look of the whole long coat chilling you know, throw on some kicks if that's your vibe. I just didn't pull any out to show you guys these were just here. But throw on some kicks. A cute crossbody bag to give it some flair. Maybe something that sits here. You know what I mean? Like throw it on, sits about right there. Um, I just like that look. It's like if I'm going to go to Walmart or Target or run some errands, I might as well stunt just a little. Um, I don't necessarily think I would have this up front, I'll probably put it towards the back. But I like it. That's the whole, like, what? Yep, easy breezy, cheap, effortless. Now, I've seen people style this whole look with heels. Of course, they, you don't have to wear a hat. I was just being, you know, extra. Um, I've seen people throw on some heels with it. I don't have any sitting here. This is just green put on now. Like, whatever. But I've seen people with heels on. My shoes off. I like this hat though. It's cute. Anyway, so we have one more item. One more item. So be right back. Okay, you guys, if y'all noticed by the end of my video, I'd be looking tragic. Woo, honey. Okay. <clears throat> so, I look like a whole chai latte with extra cream, baby. Like, <laughs> I seriously do. Um, I look like a chai latte with a shot of espresso. It's kind of dirty chai. The same. If you don't know what that is, you guys, it's a chai latte. I usually get almond milk or oat milk or wherever I'm at. Add a shot of espresso, that's what makes it dirty. That's for a dirty chat, it'll change your life just a little bit. Anyway, so this is a, not a set, but this is, yeah, it is a set. It go as a coordinate, that's what that's called, a coordinate. Um, it's from Wild Fable, Target. Um, the bottoms are 22. Sorry, I'm showing belly. I don't know, I think the tops were about 20. I'm sure it's back there, I can't reach it. But the top was like 20, such a cute set. Um, they had, I wanna say two or three different color varieties. I looked up and found this little chai latte <sighs> mood right here. Um, but I really, really like it. Um, it's such cute, and I've been having, I love the idea of cute loungewear, but I haven't found too many of them that execute well with my body. I actually like this. 
um, I think it's cute. It fits well. Um, show you the waist again. It has a nice solid waistband. It's not anything like restricting, but it's just, you know, it's not going to move around inside of it or cause any issues. Um, it has pockets, so, you know, pockets are there. Um, I do like the fact, as you can see now, with this up, a lot of people are making crop, and crop just does not work for my body. But this up, just because the bottom of this has that tie-dye effect, gradient effect, it kind of slims a little bit in here, gives me my hips back, and goes back down to the espresso portion of it. Now, um, I want to come up a little closer. Come a little bit closer and show you the color. It's like a peachy mocha color. I just think it's cute and cream. Really cute. Like this, I don't think I'm going anywhere for Thanksgiving low-key. I work retail. Thanksgiving is a day off for me. <laughs> but with everything that's going on, I have to be safe and I want everybody else to be safe. So we just kind of, you know, we'll see. I might go visit my mom for an hour or two um, if she feels better. But other than that, I'm just gonna most likely chill. It's gonna be a decorating day. I'm gonna decorate my house. But I think this is gonna be my Thanksgiving fit. I just love it. Um, this goes really well with eggnog and rum and whiskey. You see, I'm in the drink formation today. You see this? <laughs> but anyway, this is it. Okay, you guys. So when I edit that, that's gonna be such a like. Okay, back, back, go back two seconds. One second. Um, you should see me in between cuts. Let me tell you. Wearing a full face of makeup and trying on a white turtleneck, tragic. You're just like, <gasps> and you're like a turtle, and you're like, ah, and you're hoping it's not gonna snap and hit your face. So that's me in between shots, trying to get stuff on and off quickly. But anyway, you guys, thank you for participating in my little Target slash Walmart, really Walmart slash Target haul with a drop of Burlington. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I have another haul coming up next and it is from Express, you guys. I have not ordered or worn anything from Express in a decade. Like, I don't know the last time I've, God, when I was younger, I had an Express car. I used to light that thing up. But like 20 years later, like here I am. So I am gonna do a will it fit haul from Express. Um, you're gonna be kind of, you know, I'm not gonna say shocked, but some of the things are working. Some of the things I, you know, they work and I could, I'm sorry, something's itching my nose. Some of the things work and you're like, okay, you know, I could do better in this fit or that, but otherwise, Express got some nice stuff now. Um, when we get into it, I have some little things I need to share. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to say one more time, congratulations to the winner. Um, like I said, you're going to get an email, Irene, as soon as I get a chance to send it off. It's probably right, right after I film this. Um, that being said, have a good one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I love you guys. When y'all comment below, please comment. I like talking to you guys. I like getting to know you guys. Uh, if you're excited for the Express haul, say something in the comments as well. I am, like, that's something out of my norm. So I'm super excited about the Express haul. And, yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you don't see me on the tube which which I think you will but you get one more video before Thanksgiving but if you are entering the traveling portion of your holiday if that's what you're doing be safe be cautious be sanitized and don't assume everybody else is as safe and sanitized as you are uh, if you're traveling you know what I mean be safe as well um, you know they said the car is the best way to travel this year because you have more control over who and what and how your car is being managed. So just to let you know, that's just a tip of the information that came from the news. Um, but other than that, be safe and I will see you before Thanksgiving next week. Um, I will talk to you guys then. Bye.